All right, we're into part two of our ultimate video editing network build, and it's time to do a little unbox there. Well, most of you guys know I'm a network guy, so I'm gonna start off with these XG6 PoE network switches from Ubiquiti, which are 10 gigabits per second and supply, look at that. 802.3 BT PoE, which is the the high powered standard, which I'm I'm, I'm honestly looking forward to what what's going to be possible with uh, with that guy. So we'll pop open this lid, nice seal, and it looks like we've got typical Apple like sealing uh, or or uh, I should say packaging, right? Uh, it's all stuffed into a styrofoamish feel. Um, Fairly light, you got the two caps on the SFP ports, SFP plus I should say, uh, four 10 gigabit per second copper ethernet ports right there. Uh, flip it over on the back and you've got a straight line for the power and it looks like you've got, um, if you have a DC, so this is for an AC adapter. If you've got direct current, you can go straight into here. Um, what I'm not sure on is if you can make those redundant. I would guess you could to where you could have Two power supplies coming in. If one fails, the other takes over. But I've, jury's still out on that one. It's, again, first time I've unboxed this little guy. Um, so, with that said, let's look at what else we have inside of this box. You got a little uh, quick start guide. Uh, and this might answer some of my questions right here. We've got the, uh, the port for the power adapter right there. And then it says this guy is an optional uh, DC direct current terminal block, right? So, um, it sounds like I would I would I would guess that we could use both of those at the same time to provide some redundant power But again, I'm not gonna commit to that until I uh, see a little bit more Wow <laughs> Look at that power block reminds me of the old Mac laptops where they had the giant power adapter that came with them um, So so anyway, there's our there's our uh, laptop has a uh, connection for uh, the the uh, other other joint right there, which I'm assuming is gonna be in this part of the box and that's that's all that that's literally all that comes in this box is a giant power adapter, the switch, and the quick connect card. Uh, I also bought a, a couple SFPs. The RJ for this is uh, the uh, RJ45 uh, 10 gigabit per second module, so I can add and fill in these last two ports right here. If I run out of ports, because I have only four, four, yeah, this is a console port, four 10 gigabit per second Ethernet ports that I can use right there. Good ubiquity. First one unbox. Let's head over to the Synology. All right, this is the DS1618 Plus, which provides the option for memory expansion. It provides the option for uh, uh, extra drive base that you can add via eSATA ports. And it also provides the key for the ultimate video editing network, uh, 10 gigabit per second uh, card, which I'm hoping, if my order went through correctly, is in here. So let's, uh, let's unbox this guy. And look at that. Well, this is uh, extra memory. I've got 16 gigs of memory that has been added to uh, to this to, to upgrade the memory, and and a plug. So <laughs> uh, this this wasn't. I was it was sitting right there on top. So I thought, man, I mean, there's gonna be something amazing in there. So uh, quick install guide, great. Uh, pull this out of the styrofoam. Box aside, and a big box flew out. I shouldn't say a big box, but this guy, this is the key. This is uh, one of the compatible network cards. It's the E10G18T2, which will provide two 10 gigabit per second ports. Uh, if you want redundancy, if you want lag where you can bundle them together, all of that uh, through this little card. So I'll slide that aside and let's get this guy unboxed. There we go, and nice. And actually, you know what? Synology may have installed that for me. I didn't even think about it, but <laughs> it's an empty box because on the back of this, they've already installed the two 10 gigabit per second network cards right over there. You can see that these are all one gigabit per second links. This is the 10 gigabit per second link on the other side of that right there. Right on the front of this, here are one, two, three, four, five, six bays that I can add hard drives to. And the fact is I actually have an older Synology 1500 series with drives already running in my MDF. When I get this guy set up, I'm planning on just literally pulling those drives out and plugging them right in here. They're already set up for a RAID array. And if Synology serves correct as what I've experienced in the past, this thing should just pick those up and start running with zero configuration.
All right, there you have it. The core network and server component of our video editing network. You can see I also installed the two SFPs in there. In the next video, I plan to take this, get it installed in my home MDF. Yes, <laughs> that exists. And, uh, and, and, and maybe we can get into some local testing to see if this guy can keep up with some 10 gigabit per second data transfer. For now, keep it simple.